We also discussed the crisis in Sudan and the efforts exerted by Egypt in cooperation with different sides to end the to achieve a ceasefire and reaching a political solution. And we also discussed extensively the situation in the African ivory uh, and we said that we need to achieve the unity of Somal Somalia against all challenges facing it. I assure that we are working to, to achieve the pacification in the east of the Mediterranean to reach to end the disputes between the two countries, between the countries in the region. And thus, we are going to be able to reach the cooperation and invest and make use of the resources to achieve the prosperity for our people. Peoples. And in the end, I thank, I thank my brother, President Erdogan, for the hospitality and the generous hospitality. And I am looking forward to host him again in Egypt to build and keep co coordination and communication directly for the for the best of our two peoples and for the region as a whole. Thank you. Betul Doan Akash is an assistant professor of Middle Eastern studies at Ankara University, and she joins us live now from the Turkish capital. Um, professor Betul, is this rapprochement with Egypt? Is it a good strategic move for Turkey, and why do you think that? Thank you for inviting me, first of all. Um, definitely, the the answer for your question is first um, first and later. It's definitely a positive uh, stage for Turkish regional politics and Turkish politics um, in terms of conflicts, but also for cooperative solutions uh, in Middle East, including economic cooperation, trade relations, the import of and export of military equipments to Turkey and out to, to, from outside of the Turkey. So, in many ways, this is a positive stage. And what we see from their comments, actually, the two leaders are now in a in a in a position that they are more constructive than before. Even before even the visit in February, uh, I could say there were um, even less uh, positive narrative. Now we can see, including Libya, Syria, and other uh, files that they haven't cooperated before, we can see more symbolic um, narrative mm. in, their, uh, in their closing remarks for the press release. Mm -hmm. Certainly a, a wide range of areas they talked about, everything from health all the way, as you say, to wider regional relations with countries like Syria and Libya. What do you think will yield the most benefits for Turkey in terms of these closer relations and these two countries working together more effectively? So this first we need to mention this visit and the visit in February they were not um, like quick decisions there has been there has been um, communication between two parties in high levels including intelligence sharing uh, security uh, cooperation since the problems started uh, between the countries this is why we could say these stages are made in a in a slow diplomatic move, but they have actually focused targets for Turkey and for Egypt. So, first of all, as the foreign minister Fidan mentioned in his visit to uh, Egypt this month, there's a security concern uh, bringing these two parties together in Gaza, in Libya, in Horn of Africa, uh, it's in the extended Middle East, if we, uh, it, it is better to mention. And we could mention these two states are the critical actors of Middle East. And if they cooperate in a way to establish more solution-oriented dialogue in the Middle East, then they could also find a better way for their strategic cooperation. Uh, because there are some um, conflicts among them in their foreign policy making in Libya, um, in Horn of Africa, uh, in Mediterranean, uh, let's say, energy sales or maritime security issues. But these steps could bring more solution-oriented um, stages. And this is important for them because if Turkey and Egypt are um, not beyond uh, pragmatic economic cooperations, then there won't be any agents 
sector-oriented solutions to Middle East problems. This is what we need for a long-term cooperation and long-term um, peaceful Middle East politics. This is why, especially with the narrative of President Sisi, what I understand, he would like to, or maybe his country will be part of the talks between Turkey and Syria. There could be an Egyptian intervention in terms of instrumentalizing the their role in the in this normalizing process with uh, with Assad of Syria. So I could say um, from their narrative, uh, what I understood is more uh, more um, active and also more sort of solution oriented uh, relations we could see between the parties in the coming year. Okay, Betuldan Akash from Ankara University with that analysis on. This visit and these agreements between the Turkish and Egyptian presidents, thank you so much for joining us on TRT 